Welcome to Zalanka, Europe. This is the DLC expansion uh, map. And today, I am, Farmer Greg is on, on this map. And you can see, I am already have begun working on here. This is the house you get. And there are collectibles on here. They're golden apples. You get a brand new truck. I say brand new. This is a, with the DLC. It's a... Here, I'll show you. <coughs> it's a 1984 pickup. It's like a Volkswagen pickup, if you ask me. Anyway. Um... And that's not the silo you start with. It, you start with the same one that was on Elm Creek. And uh, I sold that and put that one down. There was a couple other buildings here. I, one that had chicken barn in it and I sold it. Another one that was couldn't use so I sold it. But And I put this down. It's a field, field thing where you can get stuff to work like lime and stuff in the field. I bought this lot across the road because we didn't have room over here to store all this stuff. So I moved it all. I bought $11,000 bought me this little lot here across the road. Ne next to the shop, which the shop is right here. And so is your uh, reset that's on the shop. So, And I put those sheds down. And that's why I got that across the road. Let me show you the PDA. Well, let me show it. And interesting enough, there is 91 fields on this map. And and the biggest one looks like to be that one. And it is 147,000, the most expensive. You see how much how much land you get with that. So and it's it's right up behind the shop here. Yeah, this big field right here. Yep. I may eventually get it, and I ain't gonna get it right now. But you know, I got all this equipment. This is the only piece of equipment that is left from the stuff that you got on New Farmer. Other than the pickup truck. It's, yeah. But everything else, I've bought. This thing here, let me show you, well, let me go in and show you under. It's called a, a a ridge creator. You see that first picture on the right? That's what it is. It's a, It creates a ridge like a potato field. The plant and the stuff. You don't have to do that. But... You have you see, and you have to plow every time you harvest. These this was not a an original field. I plowed this field out. That's why on the map you see it kind of, especially on the precision farming map, it doesn't have a number on it because it's part of that farmyard. And so in this field, and you see it's silty clay, but um. That's and that is parsnips. What's left of parsnips in this field? I got a few more to get. And back here I have the three new crops are parsnips, red beets, and down here in my other biggest field in 53, I got carrots. They're all ready to harvest. I've done went through a whole season. I'm back to August. That's when you harvest them. You plant them in April and harvest in August. And that's when... So... Now, let me show you what I do have. Okay. There's that thing that makes the mounds. The GF-800. That's, oh, no, that's the planter. Let me come over here. i show it to you across the road. That's the eight-row planter.
right here. It only holds, as you can see down at the bottom of the screen, it only holds, uh, oh, wait a minute. Well, what do it hold? The planter, uh, if I get on the planter, it'll tell me. 32 liters. It doesn't take a lot. I did that parsnip field and all of the all the parsnip field there and all of all of this red red beet field and one pass back and forth on that carrot field before I had to fill up. It does work with this fit fill thing here. It works. You can pull up to it, open the lid and it will fill up. Anyway, I've got this plow here. This is a 22 meter. That's what I'm plowing with. And uh, my tractor there, that bit my biggest one. That's a modded 4755. It's got 890 horses. The other tractor is over here with with the harvester that I like. Here's the thing about this this DLC. There is a drivable harvester. There's no tank on it. So you have to hire a worker. I'll show it to you. You have to hire a worker to drive it. And if you like that kind of thing, I mean it it yeah, and you get and you have to have either a tractor and trailer or a truck under this arm here and following it everywhere it goes. Kinda like when you're doing the forest harvest forage harvesting you know, or sugar cane or something like that. Anyway, anywho, but that's what it, that's what it does. And let me get on this tractor here and show you how, but this harvester here holds five and a half metric tons. And I don't have any, and I just dumped it. Here's how you, let me show you. Now I'm going to turn around and uh, get that other back there. You can about do two rows if you get it lined up right. Let me turn around, pick up the head and turn around here. It's a, it's a trial and error type of thing with this, but anyway. On them, on them uh, other fields over there that's straighter, more square, 
they'll work it, it'll work fine And uh, that's how you do it. And I like this harvester the best because it's got that tank on it. And I don't, I like to be able to do everything myself. Now, This tractor here does real well with this. And uh, a little more to get here. down here in this corner it's showing up on the seasonal growth off because I want I, I did this these through the first season but I wanna I hope this is all going oh yeah now yeah. move this tractor to the next field and I'll tell you what I'm thinking this is red beets here. What I'm thinking is I want to replant parsnips back in it. Everything that's in the fields now back in it a second time, but without doing the ridges and see if it make 
if I get the same yield or much less. See if it affects the yield. That back here, if you read, it says that the ridges will give you a fertilizer stage. Well, when I did that, I got somewhere around 15 to 20 kgs of fertilizer. So, um, and that's all it get, which is some, which is good, but it wasn't near enough. I still had to put 160 to 190, I mean 160 to 180 kgs on the field. If you don't believe what I'm telling you, look at look at this field here. 160. What is the carrots? And it was already about 50 something on it. I mean, 15 or 20 on it. So I still had to put a good bit on there. 200 on here. See, look at there. Carrots really take some fertilizer. Yeah. Okay. Well. So what I think I'm gonna do is plant these three fields again and make sure I got uh whoop, it's saving got seasonal growth turned off and plant them again it'll take three months for them to grow because you plant in April on seasonal growth they're ready to harvest by August so May June July so it's August if I go ahead and plant September, October, November. They'll be ready to harvest in December. So, might have to harvest them in the snow, but I'll see then. So, we got 47 tons. I need to go dump these in the bin. I need to write that down, though, before I dump them. I want to write it down because this is with the ridge. Let's get a clean piece of paper here and a good pen that I know will write. All right. I'm going to put with ridge parsnip. Forty-seven thousand. 16 so 40 about 47 tons of parsnips off off of there so and we'll we'll over here I'm gonna say with out so we'll we'll grow them without and and see what happens see the difference but with is 47 so we'll go without Next up is red beets. And we'll see what what they uh how much they but I need to take these and dump them in that bin. The silo you start off with does hold will hold these new crops. I just wanted a, a complete multi-fruit silo. That's why I put that one down. Anyway. Let me see. Does this need lime? Yeah, it needs a little bit of lime. This truck acts like it's struggling with that load on there. unloading now so why it's doing that I'm gonna detach that get my line back under there and get the line and bring it over here to that field and get ready to plant again 
Ah, I may sell that trailer there. I'm gonna just park it right here. I ain't gonna lime nothing yet. I'm gonna wait. I, well, I might anyway. She's empty. Anyway, yeah, I'm on. Uh, get busy harvesting these beets, but anyhow, might lime this field right quick, but and then it'll be ready to plow in. Might even go on and plow it, who knows? So all I have to do is Anyway, we're going to do each one of these fill back over. I'm not going to do the ridge this time. I'm just curious to see, do you get a better, a better uh, yield with it or without it? Or is it about the same? If it's about the same, I may not do no more ridging. Yeah, the fields look a little nicer, I think, but it's just one extra step that I don't really particularly like doing all right I'm gonna pull this over here on this road out the way where crank up the old John Deere well, I get shot out of a cannon don't it It's got 890 horsepower. Now here's what I'm going to do so I get straight roads because I'm not going to do the ridges. Uh, I'm going to use this full length of this plow here. I'm just going to plant straight into that rather than I just got that ooh, ooh, I almost hit that sign there this uh, I like playing with season but because I want to do this test I'm going to turn off seasonal growth long enough to conduct this test I 
Ah, crap. plow down here while it's folding up and leave it sitting down here. I'll go get the planter and I want to I want to see what it does. Might not let me plant. Well, let's see. Hit the cedar's full. The planter's full. Uh, I I planted with the the case the first time because uh, this this planter don't need but a hundred or so horsepower it's light. Let's see now. I'm not gonna do no headlands. plant like that oh boy we'll see it's planting at an angle look at that Shit, I'm planting carrots. Doggone it. Ha! Ah, I meant to plant parsnips and alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna take drop this planter and I'm gonna get the plow and plow that back up because this ain't got no cultivator on it, so I'm gonna put planter right here for a minute. I mean that I can plow that without having to unfold it made a boo-boo y'all I'm glad I noticed that before it got too far down there let's see I'm curious even with yeah any fertilizer no see it ain't no fertilizer so you get you will get a little bit of fertilizer with that other thing dang I was almost at the other end when I realized Now to make sure I put the same thing back in this field because that you ain't gonna get no accurate reading if you use a different crop. I mean parsnips and carrots are real close, but uh, now let's go back and plant.
power. Okay. This is kind of an odd shaped feel. It ain't exactly square or rectangle. It's narrower on this end than it is at the other. tractor here wants to get away from me. You see, it's not taking much seed at all. Uh, I might just do it like this from now on, because you got to plow it anyway every time you... tractors it's got too much horsepower this might be better than ridging it might be easier to get up this way because it's all smooth I like the way this looks better than I do the ridge, to be honest with you. I may be selling that ridge. And 
folks when I get this these fields ready to harvest again you'll be right there with me to see the results when I get to see. Okay, let's pull back in. I believe this is gonna be better all the way around, not not ridging it. is an eight row planter but you're planting an angle here watch this I'm gonna get this corner here cut this out I mean, this, I believe this this part here is better, going to produce better. I believe we're going to get a better yield just off of this smooth ground here. to get right there and you see I ain't hardly using no seed yeah there's no fertilizer what it was it was about 15 maybe 20 kgs and it was a little bit a little bit nicer on top but I think I like the way this looks, to be honest with you. I'm going to pull it around here and hook this, hook this to that plow so it'll be ready to go to that next field. And when I get them all harvested, the rest of them, the other two harvested, and ready to plant back I'll, I'll do just that I won't fertilize until I get first crop get growth first growth which will be in September so September October November so December I'll harvest again yep but Y'all will be there with me, and you will get to see the results. But until next time, this is Farmer Greg saying, see ya.